Welcome to this Friday's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Tanner Holland alongside Brendan Wolford. Today we have a recap of baseball, soccer, and an interview with a varsity golfer. Last week the baseball team took on the Shawnee Mission West Vikings, looking for their fourth win on the season. Brendan was there last Thursday with the story. Last Thursday, Olathe Northwest battled against Shawnee Mission West at Seaback. Austin Hansen threw another one-hit game and won his third game this season. The Ravens also had solid defensive play to help out Hanson as they did not commit an error all game. Northwest bats came alive early as they scored three runs in the first inning off key hits by Austin Hanson and Sage Killian. O&W finished out the game winning 4-0. The Ravens are now 6-5 on the season and are playing today in the River City Tournament. For Jackson Millman, this has been Brandon Wolford. Now, back to the studio. The soccer team looked to stay undefeated in league play last Tuesday, taking on the Vikings. Joe Kaliga has the recap. It was a beautiful night for soccer this past Tuesday as the Lady Ravens traveled to Shawnee Mission to square off against the Shawnee Mission West Lady Vikings. The offensive threat commenced in the early minutes of the game. This early send-in on a free kick from senior Marissa McMullen endured a slight disconnect on the other side with sophomore Savannah Moxley. The defensive third was a brick wall, conceding zero in the first half with successful clearances from Sofia Latorella and Kristen Boshin. Later on in the first half, after a Vikings foul in the box, Emily Kemp stepped up for the free kick and gave the Ravens a 1-0 lead. Running into the second half with the lead, the Raven offense connected to score early on and double their lead, making the score 2-0. Another aggressive 30 minutes played, the Ravens conceded a free penalty kick goal, but the Vikings effort wasn't enough to take down the undefeated powerhouse, your O&W Lady Ravens soccer team. Final score, 2-1 Ravens. For ONW Now, this has been Joe Kaliga. Now back to the studio. I'm here with junior Harry Welsh for an update on the men's golf team this year. So, Harry, how has the season gone for the team so far? Good, it's gone really well. We just shot a 304, which is the team's lowest score in about five years, so that's really solid. Led by senior team captain uh, Dylan Funk, shot a 71. Really solid round. All right, and what's one thing that people don't know about what it takes to be a good golfer? Uh, the time, a lot of time and dedication goes into just hours of practice. All right. And what are your personal and team goals for the rest of the season? We want to be top three at state for sure. We're really looking forward to that. So. All right, sweet. Yeah. Thanks, Harry. Uh, yeah. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. This has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the studio. I